So last time we talked about bottom-up two, three, four trees. This time we're going to talk about top-down two, three, four trees. They're very similar structures. Um, in either case, each non-leaf node will have two or three or four children. Every node will have one or two, one, two or three keys. And of course, if the node has, let's say, you know, uh, two children that matches with one key, or three children matches with two keys, and if it has four children that matches with three keys, if the node is a non-leaf, and every leaf will be at the same level. So what's the difference? In the top-down version of the tree, we will never step into a full node while we're going down the tree during an insertion, okay? So basically, we're going to proactively split the node when we're about to step into it going down the tree instead of, uh, you know, procrastinating and splitting the node when I'm forced to by something, you know, telling me from below, hey, you have to split because there's no room to insert into you, okay? When we do this, we're going to be able to do insertion in a single pass down the tree. We're going to just go down the tree. We're never going to have to go back up to the tree because when we get down to a leaf, there's always going to be room for the thing that we are inserting. Okay? So in this case, here are two examples. On the left, I have the bottom up 2, 3, 4 tree. On the right, I have the top down 2, 3, 4 tree, where up until this insertion right now, the trees look the same. So what happens? On the left, the two is, well, it, it's smaller than four, so it's going to go to the leftmost child. And it's going to go right into that child because it's a leaf and there is room. On the right, I get to this node and I'm about to step into this node and I say, oh, that node is full right now. I don't have to split, but I can split. I'm going to split that six. It separates the four and nine apart. And after that, oh, six, two is less than six, go to the left. Two is less than four, go to the left. And now, hey, in this leaf, there is room, so I will put it in there. In this case, we end up with two different trees, right? Let's say that we're inserting a one next. On the left, oh, one is less than four, go down to the left child. I want to insert into this leaf node. It is full, and because it's full, I'm going to have to split it. I'm going to send the two node back up. The one gets put in with the zero, right? The two split the zero and three apart. The one goes in with the zero. Now this two is going up. It's not going down anymore. When I want to go up, there's no room in the parent, so I got to split the parent. And after the parent splits, hey, now there's room for the two to go up. What happens in the case of the one over here? Oh, the one smaller than six, smaller than four. Before I step into this leaf node, I look and I say, it's full. I refuse to step into a full node. Ret uh, progressively split that node, bring the two up. The two split the zero and the three, and now there's room for the one below. And you'll notice in this case, after that next insertion, these two trees happen to match. They don't have to match. They don't have to sort of go back to being the same tree, but they can. It's possible, right? Now I insert a negative 3. Let's look in this case. Well, in both cases, negative 3 is less than 6. It moves down a level. In both cases, negative 3 is less than 2. It goes down another level. And in both cases, uh, it just gets put into the, the leaf node. So they both happen exactly the same. Now we look at negative 8. Negative 8 is less than 6. Negative 8 is less than 2. All that sort of happens the same. And now, again, something different happens. Well, sort of different. I mean, philosophically different. On the left, I say, oh, I'm going to insert this into this. I'm at a leaf node. Insert it. Oh, the node's full. Send the zero up. And, you know, stick that negative three in one of the two children. And now the zero goes up, right? And the right hand, sort of the same thing is going to happen, but maybe in a slightly different order within your code. Before even stepping into this leaf node, when you're sort of in this 2-4 node, you look down and you say, hey, the child that I'm about to step into is full. I never want to step into a full child proactively rip that zero out to split that node apart, and now there's room to send the negative eight down, OK? 
Okay. Again, we ended up with the same tree, but sort of slightly different steps along. And of course, sometimes we actually end up with different trees. So if we want to insert our negative 5, in both cases, negative 5 is less than 6. And the left, that's fine. Negative 5 is less than 0, goes down to the left child, and then goes into the leaf. There is room for it, and that's what the bottom-up tree does. Hey, if there's any way I can squeeze that node in at the leaf, I'm going to without changing the tree at all. But on the right, the top-down tree, when it's at the sixth node, it looks at this child. It says, oh, that child I'm about to step into is full. And because it's full, split it. Take the middle value from the node, rip it up to the parent, separating the other two keys. So 0 and 4 get split. And now, insert negative 5 into the proper child. Oh, that's the child that's uh, rooted at 0. Great, step into that node. It's negative 5 is less than 0. This node down here is not full. It's a leaf. We put our, we put our negative 5 in there. Okay? So we see in this case, we actually end up with the leaf ends up the same. But look, the rest of the t tree structure is actually different, right? The top down tree split a node when it was capable of splitting on the way down, rather than being wait until it's forced to split on the way up. Okay. So why do we want top down trees? Well, they give us single pass trees. And that's perhaps a little bit nicer for efficiency, if you want to think about sort of I'm not sure how much nicer it is. I mean, our worst case time is probably better because we don't sort of get hit going all the way down and then have to split all the way back up again. On the other hand, top-down trees do have a tendency to split more than the bottom-up trees, so they might actually be a little bit taller. So uh, maybe the efficiency is a, a bit better. Maybe the memory is also a bit better. I, I, I Probably they're a little bit nicer for multiple threads. Um, the thought being, oh, if some one thread, a multi-threaded machine, one thread has gone down, down one leaf, another thread can sort of access, you know, another part of the tree safely without worrying about stuff above it getting messed up. Uh, so th that's a little bit nicer, maybe. And even more, uh, when we finally get to the context of full uh, B trees, which will be the next topic that we finally hit, actual full B trees. Probably, um, then we'll see why it is actually sort of the efficiency might be a little bit more important um, when we get to that context. So, uh, there you go. Those are top-down 2, 3, 4 trees.